one is done. <sighs> All right, this is our scheduled programming for today. Okay, so if you see me jump on the live a little bit earlier, that was to do a workout for yesterday. That was yesterday's workout. And now this is today's workout, our original time at eight o'clock. So it's okay if you missed the first one. It'll um, It's on my page and then it'll go up on my YouTube and you could just do it later or do it over the weekend, whichever way. Um, but for right now, this is my second workout, bit to bit to bit. All right, so we're going to start off with a stretch like we just did. Um, we're going to do six this time. It's called a dynamic stretch. You can find this stretch on my YouTube as well if you need something that's, uh, you know, a little bit slower paced. And then you could kind of like listen to me and, sh uh, uh, how can I say, break it down. You can see me break it down in that video. Okay, um, and then we're going to do, we have three blocks. We have two exercises in each block. We have um, six to eight reps and one of the exercises for 30 seconds. So we're going to do the dynamic stretch. You're going to start off at the back of your mat. You're going to crawl it out. Reach that leg up. Twist it. Bring it down. Bring it around. This will get you warmed up as well on top of it being a good stretch. Stretch the legs out. Come down into a squat. Use them elbows to push it out. Get those hips open. Bring those arms up. Stand up. That's one. We got six. Bring it down. I like to open up my sinks a little bit when I'm coming back just so I can prepare myself for my squat using my elbows to push my hip, my knees out, open up my hips, hands up, stand up. That was two. Again, open up those hips. Three. Four. Hips out. Five. One more. And up. All right, good. All right, so have some dumbbells with you. I'm gonna need dumbbells. It don't have to be anything heavy. You could do light to moderate weights. I have tens and eights right here. Whichever one I decide to use is what I'm gonna use. So the first two exercises, we have a kneeling dumbbell press, and then we have split squats. So with the kneeling dumbbell press, you get to actually come down on the ground. So whichever leg you wanna start with, it doesn't matter because we're doing both sides. You're going to kneel down, get yourself into a 45 degree angle. You're going to take one weight. Whatever side your leg is up on, you want the weight to be on your opposite side. All right. So whichever leg is not up, whichever leg is down, that's the side of the weight. You're going to hold it the long way and you're going to press up. Okay. Keeping that core tight and you're going to press up and we're going to do eight on each side. Then with the split squats, it's going to be kind of basically in the same position. Whichever leg you want to start with, you want to step one leg back and you want to drop down and come up. Okay, and we're going to do eight on each leg. Okay, so let's get down. We got eight. 
Keep that core engaged, keep it tight. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch legs. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. All right, we're going to come to that split squat, standing up. We got eight on each leg. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And switch. This side is my hard side. This is when you got to really keep your, your core engaged. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, you don't have to do my arm movements or whatever, but this is something that I've done just to kind of help me to keep my balance, to kind of give me a rhythm. You don't have to do it. That's just what I like to do. All right. Again, remember, whichever leg is down on the floor, that's the side of the weight. Whichever leg is up, it's up by itself. Maybe put your arm out. Again, these are things that I do to help me keep my balance. All right, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And switch sides. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. All right, standing up for those split squats. Remember, we got eight on each side. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoo! Last set. Drop it down. Whatever side you want to start with, because we go on each side. But remember, that leg that's down, that's the side the weight is on. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch sides. Whew. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. Good. Split squats. Whew. Ready? Go. One, two, three, Whew. four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch legs. Whew. It's the hard side. Ready? Go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo! Take a little break. All right, so our next exercises are high plank, a high plank arm reach, and a high plank dumbbell row. Please take your break while you can. Just watch me and listen to me. All right, so the high plank arm reach. Hands directly underneath your chest. Fingertips spread. Lay step behind you. You're going to reach your arm. One, without trying to do, like, without rocking so much. If you can't do the high plank, get on your knees. Push those hips forward. Same concept. Okay, just do it on your knees instead of doing it up. If you start up and you get tired, you know, you know, form is everything. So you don't want to compromise your form. So you can always drop down to your knees if you need to. Because I'd rather you drop down to your knees than be up and be wrong and all over the place. All right, so with the rows, same thing. 
weight start right to the underneath your chest. You're going to have the weights right under you. Wrap your hands around it. Same thing. Legs out and row. Squeeze that back. Control the weight. If you are scared to use the weight and you don't feel like you can do it, same concept. You can either go up or on your knees. You come up and just move your hands, drop on your knees. And you can even do that also with the weights. So you can either go up, fall out, or drop down on your knees. Either way, still the same movement. The whole purpose is to make sure you squeeze that back. Squeeze that back muscle, okay? So our numbers for the high plank arm reach is six. So it's going to be one, one, two, two, all the way to six. And with the rows, we got eight. One, one, two, two, all the way to eight, okay? All right, let's get started. Hands directly underneath your chest. Fingertips spread. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Woo. Good job. That's a lot. You gotta really keep that core tight. All right. We got eight. Remember, whether you up on, on your knees. If you're on your knees, keep that, keep those hips tucked. Tucked in, okay? Keep your butt out the ear. You want to keep tucked. All right, so we got eight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Whew. Yo, I'm tired. <laughs> but you see how I did that smoothly? Dropped on my knees, but I still kept my hips tucked. You could do that if you get tired. Remember, I'd rather have dropped to my knees than just flinging anywhere, right? And remember, I just did it. A workout a few minutes before I just came over here to just fade the clock. So bear with me. All right. <laughs> All right, back to the high plank. Arm reaches. Remember, we got six. I'm gonna start off on my knees. So I'm gonna do three down and three up. All right, ready? One, two, three. Then up. One, two, Three. Whew. All right, we got the rows. We got eight. I'm gonna start off low, then I'm gonna go high. Remember, keep hips tucked. Hips tucked, keep your butt out the air. All right, ready? One. Two. Three, four. Yo, hold up. Woo. All right, got four more. Yo, I'm tired. I'm tired. All right. One. Two. Three. Set. Then you take a break. Ooh. Ooh, goodness. Uh. Last set, then we can take a break. Last set, then we can take a break. Oh, my goodness. All right. We got six. The arm reaches. Starting off down. One. Two. Three. Ah! This real life, y'all, it get like that sometimes. I'm going to chalk this up and say it's because I just did a workout before this, trying to make up for yesterday. All right. <laughs> One. Two. 
three, four. Last one, we got eight. This the one, why well, pick eight? Let me see if I put the weights down some. Let me try it on the eight, let's see what it is. No, my arm's so tired. Okay, let's do this. One, yeah, it didn't do nothing. Two, three, Last four, last four. My, my, my. My, 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 my. All right, last four. Come on, we can do this. Let's go. One, two. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, three. Take a break. All right, last two exercises. No weights, thank goodness. Okay, so we got a side plank, 30 seconds on each side, and then we have eight push-ups. I'm letting y'all know now, I'm doing the push-ups on my knees. Y'all can forget that. All right, with the side plank, you want your arm directly underneath your chest again, right? You want to be on your forearm. Right, so there's different ways you can have your legs. You can have the inside leg under the under leg bent and raise up on that hip, right? Or you can have one foot in front of the other, or you can have your feet stacked coming up, okay? Or both feet stacked coming up on those knees. You choose what best works for you. If you want to do all of them, do all of them. But we got 30 seconds. And then with the push-ups, you already know how to do the push-ups. You can do a full-out push-up or you can do the push-ups on your knees. Remember, if you are on your knees, hips tuck, hips tuck, hips tuck. So we got 30 seconds of side plank, 30 seconds on each side, and then we have eight push-ups, all right? So let's get started. Remember that arm underneath. Ready, go. If at any point you feel like you can't make it, you shake it too much, which I am, you can switch your legs. One in, one down. Stack it. One in front of the other. Three. And stop. Woo. Okay, switch your sides. Switch your sides. All right, ready? And try not to lean too far back. Try not to lean too far over. You want to stay directly in the middle. All right, ready? Go. Wait. Ready? Go. Try to breathe. Woo. 10 more seconds. Woo. Five. Ah, keep the hips up, keep the hips up. And drop. Woo. Woo. All right. We got those eight push-ups. Y'all, this these the moments where it's like I'm fitting to stop. I did a workout already. I don't gotta do this again. <laughs> but these are ones where you like, all right, push through. We got two more rounds, two more rounds, two more rounds, two more rounds, eight these push ups. All right, we got eight. I'm dropping all the way down, and I'm pushing up. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Even nose hurt, y'all. I'm tired. 
All right, we side plank it again. 30 seconds. Round two. Y'all tired. All right, we got this. I'm stacking it. I'm stacking it. I ain't no shame in my game. I'm stacking it. Still gonna get the same type of effect. Ready? Go. Keep that core tight. Keep it engaged. This hard either way. I'm tired. I don't even know why I looked at my watch. We only been doing it for like two seconds. Keep that hip up. Keep that hip up. And stop. Oof. Switch to the other side. Y'all, I'm tired. I, listen, one thing about me, I'm a dual modification. Okay? I'm still moving. I don't care what nobody talking about. Up. Keep that core tight. Keep that hip up. I'm going to do a modification, okay? Arms lifting. Okay. And stop. Whew. All right, eight push-ups, eight push-ups. Remember, keep them hips up. I'm starting off on the floor and I'm pushing up. That's how I'm doing. All right, I think I'm going to do four, fall out, and then four on my knees. Remember, if you're on your knees, keep your hips up. Ready? Go. One. Two. Three. Four. Whew. Ah. One. Two. Ah. Three. Four. Okay. That was it. We got one more round, y'all. One more round and we done. We're done, we're done, we're done. All right, side planking it. 30 seconds. <clears throat> Still gonna modify. I think I'm gonna do one foot in front of the other. Ready? Go. Remember, keep that hip up. Keep that core tight. Make sure you're breathing. Whew. And stop. Oof. Lay side. Ready, keep that arm under and go. Keep the hip up. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Woo. All right, y'all. Push ups and then we done. Y'all. Push ups and then we done. We got eight. Eight and done. Woo. All right, let's go. Ugh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ooh. We made it. All done. Okay. So what's the goal? Lose fat, 
keep it gain muscle, stay within your calorie deficit daily, consistency, discipline. Lose fat, keep it gain muscle, stay within your calorie deficit daily, consistency and discipline. So I know y'all see me um, on live at seven and then you see me live at eight. The reason I did that was because we missed out on yesterday because I had a meeting at my church last night and then I didn't get home till super late and I just was too tired. I didn't feel like doing it. So I did double today. So you're going to see two workouts on my page. These uh, videos will also be uploaded to my YouTube. You can find my YouTube in the link in my bio. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. Please, please, please subscribe because I would like to start going live on YouTube as well. Um, so yes, please make sure that you're sharing these videos, sharing it with somebody uh, that needs encouragement. Please make sure that you're watching the videos, make sure that you're doing the videos. Uh, leave a comment, you know what I'm saying? Share it. Please like it. Please subscribe. Uh, if there's something that you want to see me do or um, if you want me to demonstrate something, let me know and I'll do maybe something like that. Put it in my stories on the exercise that you want me to explain or demonstrate or something like that. Um, so I hope you guys have a good rest of the night and I will see you on Thursday. Bible study. Prayer starts at 630. Bible study starts at 7. The Church of Christian Compassion. Hope to see you there. Uh, but again, I'll see you guys on Thursday. Have a good rest of the evening. Good night.